Hello, Jammers. So OpenAI just released the latest update to the ChatGPT website. And one of the latest features is the ability to create and share your own GPTs and potentially make money doing so. We're gonna take a look at how to create our own packaging design theme GPT to see how this works. Now to start, I'm on the ChatGPT website. One of the new links you will find on here is if you open up the sidebar, there's this explore menu option that we're gonna click on. And over here, we see a list of existing GPTs that were created by OpenAI. Some of them we've already seen like Dolly. Others are just GPTs with preloaded prompts onto them. What we're gonna do is go up here and create our own GPT. We're gonna ignore this configure tab for now. We're gonna to go to create. Hi, I'll help you build a new GPT. You can say something like, make a creative who helps generate visuals for new products or make a software engineer who helps format my code. What would you like to make? What we're gonna be doing today is we're going to make a packaging designer that helps users concept art for products, packaging, designs. Okay, so it took a minute and then it replied with great choice. Let's name this GPT. How about Packaging Pro? Do you like this name or would you prefer a different one? I like this name. We're gonna let it generate a profile picture and come back once that's done a little more sleek. So I didn't like the first image it gave me, so I asked it to give me a clean logo for this GPT. It gave me a stylized P and this line art logo, which we're just gonna go with. Okay. Let's refine Packaging Pro's context to ensure it aligns perfectly with your needs. Talk about its role and goal. Specific type of product or industry you'd like to specialize in. So what I'm thinking this will be is as soon as the user starts using this product, they are presented with a form that gathers information. So we can say, so the GPT can start by prompting the user for information about the product in a form. This should include, we can start with the product name, product type or category. Target audience. and a brief company description. It's asking me about the interaction style and guidelines. Let's keep it professional. Now it's asking if it should ask for clarification from the user or make educated guesses when it needs more information. Let's start with educated guess. It's asking about a specific character trait. It's very interesting. Keep it neutral. Okay, now it's saying Packaging Pro is all set up and ready to go, and we can test it out in the playground on the right. So I want this to start by giving me the form menu, and I think we can do that in configure. Let's fix these conversation starters. We can clear these guys out and type product info form and now it's showing up as an option here and we can click it all right and now it's populating the form that we put in earlier let's start filling in our product so my product is going to be called the jam cam and this will be an electronic device and I can put in between parentheses a digital Polaroid 
type camera. Yeah, prints photos immediately. The target audience is gonna be creatives, photography enthusiasts, young adults. And the company description is gonna be company that helps adventurers capture special moments. Let's see what that gives us. Looks like it changed up the company description a little. And now it gave some guidelines for what the packaging design should be. Now I wanted to actually use Dolly 3 to give us concept art for this. So I'm gonna go back into create and type in after providing info GPT should use Dolly 3 to generate concept art for the packaging design. Okay. Now it refreshed the playground over here. So we're going to start it over again by hitting the product info form. And I'm going to fill in the information like before. Let's take a look. And there you go. There's the jam cam. Now, obviously this is Dolly three. Some of the text can be a little off but nothing you can't clean up in Photoshop. And over here, it talks a little about the actual design and describes the image it created. Now, once you're happy with your newly designed GPT, you can go ahead and save it. You can publish it to only yourself or anyone with a link. It appears that everyone is grayed out as of yet. Let's hit anyone with a link for now and hit confirm. And now we can see our packaging pro up here. And if you ever want to go back and reconfigure or recreate this GPT, you can hit that drop down menu up here and hit edit GPT. And now you're back here. So as of yet, it doesn't appear that you could release this to everyone. This might be an update that's coming down soon. It might be that there's a lot of people publishing at the moment and there's a lot of traffic. But there you go. That's how to create your own design themed GPT and publish it on the ChatGPT website. Hopefully soon we'll be able to see how we can start sharing it on the global store and see what the monetization is like there. It's been Jam Design and I'll see you in the next one.